hope you all are well. Today I'm priming the eye area with something other than my Urban Decay Primer Potion. Shock. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. I've just squeezed a little bit of this on the back of my hand. Dabbed my Sigma 3D HD Precision Brush into the product. And I'm applying this all over the eye area. Anywhere that I'll be adding shadow. Just to help the shadows to apply and blend nice and smoothly. And last all day long too. Today I'm diving into my Sofex Makeup Revolution Eyeshadow Palette. Pretty sure I spotted this palette recently for less than 10 euro. I think it was on Beauty Bay actually. But yeah, it's a fantastic little palette for the price. And I have numerous tutorials up already uh, featuring the palette. So today I'm kicking off by picking up some of the shade Ice Coffee on a double-ended brush that came with the Urban Decay Naked Ultraviolet palette. And then using the tapered end of this blending brush just to add a light wash of this colour into the crease of the eye. I'm just sweeping back and forth, blending that colour out. And then I'm adding a touch more shadow on my brush adding that back in the crease and then when I've little to no product left on my brush I'm using quite large sweeping motions pulling that shadow upwards towards the brow just to fade it out. So now I'm taking the shade right next to it called Cup of Tea. Same colour family just slightly deeper in appearance and I'm using this to add some depth so I'm applying this colour in the crease too moving the brush back and forward once again using a mix of circular and windshield wiper motions just to fade this colour out and like before once I have the majority of the colour off of my brush instead of using the tip of the brush to apply and blend the shadow I'm now angling it kind of to the side and I'm using larger circular motions and windshield wiper motions just to fade out that shadow towards the brow and I always like to gradually build up the intensity so I'm going in now with a second layer of the shade this time tapping it down on the outer third of the eye first and then sweeping it up to in and across the crease next i'm taking the shade mug cake and this is a lovely deep warm brown all the shades that i've used up until this point are matte and as i've mentioned previously once you nail this color combination you can basically create any kind of makeup look Use these shades as your base work and then you can pop any colour you want onto the eyelid and then you have a brand new makeup look each time. So I've just been using a Sedona Lace EB09 Universal Blending Brush now to add this colour down on the outer third of the eye and then into the crease. I've started by just keeping this in an almost C shape on that outer edge of the eye. That's where I want the depth but I don't want any harsh lines so when I have little to no product left on my brush I'm very softly blending that edge across the crease. So now I'm going in with the shade Sparks Fly. This is that second gold shade on the second row. And I'm using a blank canvas cosmetic C-shaped brush just to pat this down across the eyelid. Just to meet those brown tones on the outer corner. I've sprayed my brush with a fine mist of water before applying this gold eyeshadow. Just to really make those shimmery particles pop. So I decided then that I wanted that gold to have a little bit more dimension. So I've picked up one of the Inglot Sparkle Dusts on my brush now. And I'm very lightly just dabbing this over the top of that gold eyeshadow. Tapping it down at random, not really being too careful with it. Because I don't want to add it as a layer over the top of the gold. I don't want to cover that up entirely. But I just want parts to appear a little lighter and to glisten more. To give a little more dimension. And I added this wet too. So I'm adding some more of that sparkle dust, this time dry around the tear duct just so it's not as apparent and it just gives me a nice uh, slight sparkle to that area. So what I've done to the top now I'm doing to the bottom so I'm repeating those steps using the smudger end of a double ended brush that came with the Naked Honey palette. I've started with iced coffee and now I'm fading the shade cup of tea down along the lower lash line too. Just from outer to inner corner, really smudging that down along there and making sure it connects on that outer edge. Then I'm using a small C-shaped brush from Sedona Lace to smudge some of that shade mug cake into the lash line and blow it too. I'm going to add a couple of layers of this shade because I want to gradually build up the intensity. I'm going for a really smoky lower lash line with this look. So I am taking my time layering up the shades just to give me a really nice sultry feel to the look. To line my waterline then, I'm using the KVD Beauty Cake Liner. This is just a black retractable pencil. Anyone that you have at home will do. I like to close my eye around the pencil so that I can coat both the top and bottom waterline at the same time. 
Next then, I'm going in with the shade Nightmare, which is a matte black eyeshadow. And I'm using an angled brush. This one's got a curved edge to it, so it really hugs the lash line. I love it. So I'm using this just to press some of the black eyeshadow over the top of the pencil on the waterline. This will set it in place, but it'll also make the black... Um, kind of more apparent and then I'm also taking this underneath the lash line too and I'm gradually smudging it out so I'm working in reverse now I'm going from dark to light so I'm picking up some more of that mug cake shade and I'm using this little pencil brush just to smudge the black out with the brown shadow you can smudge this out as much as you like it depends how smoky and sultry you want the look I am bringing it down quite far so now I'm using the um, iced coffee shade. I've actually used a mix of the iced coffee and the cup of tea shades just underneath that brown. So we have a nice gradient effect. Then I'm moving back to the black eyeshadow and I'm pressing this along the upper lash line. Starting on the outer corner, pressing my way across the lash line right into the inner corner. And this will just add a nice base for the lashes that I'm about to apply. So I used a pair of Sosu lashes, I added these and then I'm using the Lancome Lashy Doll Mascara just to coat the bottom lashes and then also to blend my own lashes in with the false ones. But then that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, I hope you found it helpful and easy to follow. If you did let me know and I'll catch you all in a tutorial really soon. Just like